Today I'm going to make a pump grind pepper mill. I'm going to use maple burl and put a CA finish on it. Let's get started. Help support the companies that support our community. I have a beautiful piece of maple burl here. What I'm going to do is put it in the chuck and use a Forstner bit to drill about halfway down and then flip it around and drill out the rest of the way. That blank has to be 3 and 13 sixteenths to fit this kit. So let's put it in there and get it drilled out. I'm only going to go about halfway in on this, and the Forstner bit is 25 millimeter. And that will fit right in the sleeve. You can also do this on a drill press. I'm just using a lathe that's a little easier. So I'll turn the lathe speed down, just go, go nice and slow, and then clean it out as you go with it. Once it gets down there, it'll plug up if you go too deep. Just broke through the other side. It makes a high pitch squeak. So, there we go. Now we have a perfect hole down through the center that we can go ahead and I'm going to use some little jam chucks. I guess when you look down there, it didn't look like I made it all the way through, but I, <laughs> but I did. All right, now let's get the spur center on. And what I'm going to do is, oh, and quick, quick little tip uh, about taking your chuck off. So don't use the key and lock the spindle down. Use a little block like this. I pull it up, just tighten it down just a little bit and just tap it. If you wrench on it with this, no matter what chuck you have, it's going to damage the chuck. So don't use a little, little piece of wood like that to get your chuck off. All right, so I have a little cone here. Put on my spur center. I'm going to put it right in there and bring up live center here. Put a little bit of pressure on it. And that way I'm going to turn it right down to those little cones. And you can also make your own wooden cones or they sell some cones like this, but I don't have them, so we're going to use this. So what I'm going to do is true this up, get rid of these little flat spots, and just go from there, and then we can shape it however we want. Just a little spot right there I need to get rid of, but we're really close. So you don't want to, because the way these fit together, it's pretty pretty thin on the ends. So don't bring them down down too much because it's getting close. But got a little spot there, and I need to bring that one down a little bit more.
And you can do whatever you want to it, uh, as far as little bits of detail, put some grooves, burn some lines in it. I like this, it's just a beautiful piece of maple burl. So what I'm gonna do is do a CA finish on it. So make sure this is all lined up and, and fitting good. I'll pull it out real quick and test it with the kit. And then I think we're gonna have to leave that one in there. It's getting a little thin, but I'll get it sanded up and then we will go ahead and get that finish on it. All right, I'm just finishing up with 600. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and blow the dust out with the air compressor. This is just a beautiful piece of maple and that CA finish is really gonna make it pop. Because it is burl and there's some little uh, areas in there, some little voids and stuff. I'm going to start out with a super thin CA and get all those sealed up before we start in. And then I'll switch over to the medium. So super thin CA, dries super fast. And I'm just going to wipe it on real quick. And then get it all coated and then, then I'll switch to the thick. Or the medium, I'm sorry. All right, that's all set up. I'm going to go ahead and use the medium CA. So, put a little bit on the paper towel. I folded it over a few times. And I'm going to turn the lathe on real slow. And just go across it nice and even. And then we will let that set up and I'm going to keep doing that. I'll probably put on, I don't know, probably at least 10 coats and then I'll buff that out. All right. I ended up putting about 15 coats on and now I'm going to sand it. So I'm going to start with 400 and just lightly sand it and work my way up uh, to probably 800. And then I will uh, use the Yorkshire grit or the fine polish on it. So you want to just want to be careful, don't sand off the CA finish. It's, even with 15 coats, it's still pretty thin, so don't get too carried away. And I'm just using water to sand it. I'm going to use the Yorkshire Grit, the Micro Fine, and what you do is just Work it all around by hand before you turn the lathe on. Get it all coated, just get it kind of worked in there. And then we're going to turn the lathe speed up to about 1500. Just kind of make sure. Got it? It's got just a fine little little grit to it and this stuff is meant for stuff like the CA and, and uh, resin and things like that. Now start the lay out just slow first about now five and five six hundred and then I'll then I'll bump it up. Just kind of be careful about hitting the, the metal parts there because it is a grit and it will just kind of eat away at it it a little bit not that it's going to eat the metal away very fast but it, it creates a little black on it so i always like to that's what it does so get it off of there so you don't get it on your piece grab another one i'm going to bump the speed up and just work it in it takes a couple of minutes to get it all on there I'll bump the speed up. I think right about 12, 1500. And just keep working it around like that. You can use a clean part of the paper towel. All right, bump it up there. Just gonna work it in. You can see if it's not if there's still some. It has wet paste on it. You don't want to leave that on it. Just 
but it really is a quick and easy way to put on a nice, nice finisher on it. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, just, just beautiful. So the key to it is, you know, turn it off in between each grit as you're sanding and make sure you get a little scratch it out as you go. But just beautiful. All right, let's get this thing put together. All right, so I'm gonna put it together. It's a pretty easy kit to put together. So it's the Wood River Pump Grind Pepper Milk Kit. And all it is is this little guy right here and your wood part goes right in there. So I mixed up a five minute epoxy. Got it all stirred up. Put your finger in there to hold on that little grinder to unscrew this part. And the two pieces that go on the sleeve are this little ring right here. So I'll put a little bit of epoxy around it. Just won't get carried away. You want it oozing out everywhere. Just a little bit around that lip. And drop it right down in there. It's going to give it a little bit of a twist. Make sure there's no excess on there. And then this part right here, I'll let that fall out. So the bottom part just unscrews, but where it seats is that little lip right there. So you want to screw it all the way up. This falls, keeps falling through. So screw that all the way on tight, but put the epoxy up here. Uh, more I guess on the plastic part or a little bit on the plastic part and maybe a little bit on the metal but don't get it down too close because you have to unscrew that to refill it so put a little bit on again don't get carried away get that on there like that and then this part goes right down there kind of twist it a little bit to even it all out so that it doesn't come down onto the other one. There we go. So just set, let it set up. Five minute epoxy won't take very long. Um, but very cool, easy, easy project is just turning that sleeve. The hardest thing is on the top and bottom here <clears throat> where it comes together. It, it's really thin. That lip on there isn't very much. So you need to bring that, that part down right to that sleeve there. So I guess that's the, the hardest part of the project is making sure that that's uh, flush when you're done. The epoxy is all set up and I filled it up with pepper. It was a fun project. So when we were down at the Woodcraft Expo in Chandler, a gentleman stopped by and we were talking about tools and other things and a project that he was working on was one of these and I had never seen one before. But very cool, fun project. He was having an issue with bringing the material, the wood down to fit the sleeves. So it, it's very thin where those two go together and that's really the biggest issue with it is bringing it down to that diameter so what I did was just kind of rounded it over like that and then brought brought that down to meet up with those two little sleeves I think if you were trying to make it like a slim line there's very little room for that so I would do it a little bit bigger than this but I really like the way the CA finish came out and it just pump up like that pepper don't, don't, that'll make you sneeze. But all you do is unscrew the top here, fill it up with pepper, uh, even tried it with salt, works great for that too, but very cool. I think I'm gonna throw that in the camper, perfect size for that. Again, I wanna thank everybody at Easywood Tools and Woodcraft in Chandler for bringing us down for the expo there. We had a great time, we had a great trip. Um, I also want a big shout out to the Arizona Wood Turners Association. Thank you guys, they had some great classes and really enjoyed it. All right, if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe and the like button and ring that little bell. You'll be notified. We have a new video every week. All right, we'll see you next time.